Ask yourself this, what does it mean to be a prisoner of war? To be caught in the crossfire of international conflict, your freedom at the mercy of diplomatic deals and negotiations? Today, we delve into a story that is unfolding right now. The release of 39 Palestinian detainees from Israeli jails, in exchange for a group of hostages held by Hamas. This tale begins on a Friday marking a significant turn in the long-standing Israel-Hamas conflict. The deal, mediated by Qatar, promised a much-needed four-day pause in the ongoing fighting. The detainees, accused of offenses ranging from throwing stones to attempted murder, were about to step into the light of freedom. Red Cross buses were stationed at Ofer Prison in the occupied West Bank ready to transport the 24 women and 15 teenage boys under 18 to their homes. The detainees were selected from a list of 300 women and minors compiled by Israel. Interestingly, less than a quarter of those on the list had been convicted, with the majority still awaiting their day in court. Most listed were teenage boys, 40% of them under the age of 18, along with one teenage girl and 32 women. As the day wore on, families of the detainees due for release gathered at a nearby checkpoint, their hearts heavy with anticipation. The road by Betunia checkpoint near Ramallah reeked of tear gas. Palestinian men and boys stood their ground against the Israeli army, an uneasy calm settling over the scene as families began to arrive. Meanwhile, the Red Cross reported that 24 hostages had been released by Hamas in Gaza and transferred into Egypt via the Rafah border crossing. 13 Israeli hostages were also meant to be released under the truce deal. The Thai Prime Minister added that a group of Thai nationals held hostage by Hamas had also been released, separate from the Qatar-mediated truce deal. The agreement between Israel and Hamas was a beacon of hope in the dark, promising to exchange 50 hostages held in Gaza for a four-day pause in the fighting. This deal was also set to see 150 Palestinians held in Israeli jails released and a significant increase in humanitarian aid allowed into Gaza. This story is a stark reminder of the human cost of war. Amidst diplomatic negotiations and political power plays, it is often the common people who bear the brunt of the conflict. As we move forward, we must remember the thousands of Palestinians still held by Israel on security grounds, many of whom are still awaiting trial. The hope is that this release marks a stepping stone towards peace and humanity in a region that has seen too much conflict. This story is not just about the release of detainees and hostages, it's about the hope of peace, the pain of conflict, and the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Today, we celebrate the freedom of the released, but we also remember those who remain behind bars, their fate yet undecided. The implications of this event are far-reaching and only time will tell what the future holds for the Israel-Hamas conflict.